Hey guys, how's it going? All right, today is the day of the finally. Finally, we're going to be talking about timing an engine. I've been talking about this for a while. I'm going to make a video, and I've been trying for a while. I've filmed this video you know, four or so times, and it's just never gone how I wanted it. You know, it's been I explained it too complicated, or you know, I messed up on a few things on explaining it, but. Hopefully this is the time I got me a checklist for myself so I don't miss anything. But we are going to be talking about the three different ways to get this engine exactly on top dead center. And to the correct degrees before top dead center, you want the mags to fire a few degrees before it's top dead center because of the lag it takes for the spark to travel through the ignition leads to the spark plug. So, there's three ways. We got the Lycoming starter ring gear. We got the, you just time, you use the, the known good mag to time the other mag. Uh, and then the final way is the flower pot. That's the most precise, but most difficult. So we're gonna start with the, the ring gear here. All right, so first thing we do, first thing you always do, on my checklist, it is listed to make sure the the ignition switch is turned to off. And it looks like we have no key and it is turned to off. That is exactly what we want. That's the first thing you check for safety reasons. Uh, the second thing is we got to remove a spark plug from the number one cylinder. Number one's here on the right side of the engine up front on Lycoming's. Number one's here in the back on the right side of the engine on Continentals. I'm not doing that. Doing this thing again. I did this yesterday. <laughs> Put a mag on it, timed it, ran it. Oh, well, it runs good. Remove the mag. Remove. Oh, you just ops check and make sure yeah. the mag was the issue. Yeah, because I mean, I think that's 1200 bucks sitting in that box right there. Oh, I would, that would be the low end of my guesstimate for a Magneto. All right, next step, you check your engine data plate for the spark plug advance. It's either up here on the case, or in most cases, pun not intended, data plate is down here on the oil sump. But when we look here, we're looking for spark advance and it says 25 degrees and that's super easy because when we got it to top dead on the compression stroke it has these nice little markings on the back of the on the back of the case here can you see tc number one and that's 25 over here well that's our degrees and how you do this is you grab a straight edge like i have here and you put it just here and you look like that right there watch this magic so that's that's exactly top dead center because we got the tc tc right there so now we're going to rotate the prop back to 25 degrees before top dead center it's just that easy that prop is set oh i just touched it i might have to check it in that prop is set exactly where you need it to be to install mags or adjust mags. All right, so I made a video on this, uh, how to internally time the mag here. I'm gonna put it, you know, right up here where it pops up. You can uh, click on that to watch how to internally time this mag after you finish this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and install this mag with this first, you know, because the prop's in the right spot right now. And then I'm gonna show you how to do this timing this mag to the right mag, because I know that right mag is good. Then for the final step, I'm gonna show you how to get it top dead center with the uh, flower pot. Yeah. Uh, just real, real, real quick. Look at the data plate. You look for rotation, it says L. That means you stick this timing pin in the L hole here. So we're gonna rotate until we no longer see that first thickness. There we go. We got it. It's all the way in. Can't see that first thickness. You know, 
It's internally timed. So it's happy to go on. Installing, you just want to gently snug it up against the case, the the bag needle, so it just allows just a little bit of movement, so you can twist it back and forth to you know adjust. How you adjust the timing is that just that little bit the bag needle can move back and forth. All right, now we're going on to how to time your your just installed mag. To your known good mag so this mag is at the correct degrees that this prop is supposed to be at and everything so we're going to hook up the timing light and hook it up to this thing and we're going to find when the points open on the known good mag and we're going to rotate this mag and match up when the points open so we're doing that now we've got our timing light here it's got three wires coming off the back we got black which is ground uh, we got the black wire ground we got green and red. Both of these, the green and red, are supposed to go to the P lead connection points on the magneto. Just a tip that I give is I always put red on the right because red right starts with an R, so it's easy to remember which one's which. And then green goes on the left mag. So I'm hooking that up now. Find a good ground for this guy. Just think good ground. And my good ground is the nice battery ground. It's about as good as it gets. Um, all right, we're gonna turn our timing light on here, and we're gonna go switch the key, the ignition to right, left, both. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Go to both. We need it on both mags. Are on. And at this point, do not touch the prop because the engine is live and very dangerous. All right, so the goal is, we're looking at the right mag here. We want that. All right, there we go. So as soon as that light goes out on the red, as soon as this light goes out, that means the point has opened on the, the right mag. So what we're gonna do is tap the prop, tap the prop, keep tapping it. Are you getting close? There. When that red light goes out, that's where we want it. Now we're going to rotate the left mag. Making very, very tiny movements with my hand. go. Now we want to tighten only one side, only one nut on the magneto down here. Now we're going to back the prop up. We're going to see how much, uh, so points open first on the green, left mag. Adjust it a little bit more. Definitely takes patience. Once over in those offices. Finally, I got it. It's so. It looks better if you do it like this, you go. See? Yeah. It's good. No, yeah, it's good. They hit it at the same time. But it's actually it's actually really good. So here watch. watch, this, watch this. I'm all watching. Should be getting there soon though. There's one. Oh, 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 oh that's like half a degree off. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That that was a feather bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. So it's like there's one. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, took me a little bit. That's impressive. I'll go tell Mormon. You go tell. <laughs> <laughs>
So is that a, who was that, student? Always make sure you turn off the ignition after the prop, after the magneto is timed and you have, do not need it anymore. But this actually, this mag is actually still hot because the P lead's not hooked up. P lead grounds the mag, which when the mag is grounded, it will not fire. So now what I'm doing, I'm installing the ignition lead. This actually engine is safe now. All right, all right, all right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess it's been a fairly quiet day. Thank God I did. Oops. Now I'm going to show you guys real quick. This is the most precise way to get top dead center. Absolute most precise. All right, here we go. a lot of steps and you're gonna have to watch it very closely so we got the digital flower pots installed this is somewhere around top dead center um, I just know that because if I put my finger here just pressing air on my finger um, so what we're gonna do so we're gonna back the prop up about right there we're gonna back it up from top dead center we're going to install our position pin here. Make sure the pin is all uh, completely seated to the cylinder. You want it to be the same every time. You're going to rotate the prop forward. You're going to zero out your flyer pot, either the, because there's a weighted needle on the mechanical one. You're going to zero that out, or in this digital one, there's a nice zero out button right here. Now we're going to remove the pin. We're going to move the prop forward all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. We're going to install the, time, the position pin again. Rotate the prop back. Boom. We are exactly at 90 degrees on our digital protractor here, slash flower pot. Uh, we're going to split that number in half, and that is 45 degrees. If you can think about it, you're finding the center of those two points. So after you get your measurement, 90 degrees, we're gonna hit zero. We're gonna bump the prop just a little bit. We're gonna take out the pin. We're gonna rotate the prop back to 45 degrees. All right, there it is, the fancy 45 degrees. And now what you're gonna do that engine is exactly on top of that center now. That's the most precise you can get it. It's perfectly top of that center. Now you're gonna hit zero. You're gonna zero out your flower pot disc with the mechanical needle or just hit zero. Now what is our engine's uh, timing advance? It says 25, 25 degrees. degrees. So now before top dead center. So what's before? You rotate the prop backwards. So we're going to rotate this and get it to 25 degrees before top dead center. So here we go. The prop has to be rotated backwards. We're going to 25, 25. There you go, 25 degrees. And that 
is how you get an engine exactly on top dead center with a flower pot. And there you go. Yeah, that's all the that's all the steps to timing an engine right there. Let's just go quick, quick, super quick overview. We figured out how to do just the Lycoming ring gear way where there's markings on the ring gear where you can see where top dead center and all that stuff is. Uh, we did the timing to the known good mag and we did the flower pot timing with the position pin and uh, different degrees. So if you're having trouble figuring all that stuff out, luckily you can rewind the video and watch it over again. So, but yeah, this, this prop, this is in perfect position for installing mags and uh, adjusting mags to this point. This this engine is ready to be timed. But uh, I feel like you guys got it. If, uh, any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and like the video. Uh, subscribe for more aircraft maintenance. This is uh, Andrew, aka Aerocrafty. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.